Hey kids, it's December 4th, 2019, 2.52 p.m. This is episode 707. Um, I was supposed to be doing a podcast today with the publisher of my book, but he never called. He never. I sat here staring at my Skype for 50 minutes, and I was just like, fuck it. Uh, fuck it. Uh, um, we'll do that next week. I'm not going to have time over the next two days, and I don't want to attempt to do it over the weekend. Um, so, Bob... Bub, bub. You probably forget, which I'm going to forgive because I forget shit all the time. Ask Amanda. Um, bum, 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 bum. I'm doing this cartoon about Devin Nunes. Um, Devin Nunes sued Twitter over over a fake cow account and uh, called Devin Nunes Cow. He was defaming him. And there's another one called Devin Nunes' mom, which is like scolding him like he's a brat or something. And he sued a few other publications like the Fresno Bee. Uh, I heard he's about to sue the Daily Beast. He's considering it. Right now he's suing CNN for running the story about him uh, where uh, one of those Rudy Giuliani go goons says that that Nunes met with a, that former prosecutor uh, in Ukraine. Well, or the, not in Ukraine, but the former Ukrainian prosecutor that he went to Vienna. And so he's suing CNN for running that story. Um... And he tells CNN, you can't trust that guy. He's got delusions of grandeur. <laughs> but yet, if you can't trust that guy, if you should know better, then how come Nunes didn't know better? Because he apparently had four conversations with him. Uh, the, these uh, phone call logs, whatever, came out showing that Nunes was in contact with Giuliani and uh, this guy named Les Parnas, uh, one of Giuliani's goons, uh, doing minion work for Trump. And... Um, and one of those conversations, he talked to the guy for nine minutes. He, and he called Nunes, and then Nunes returned the calls. And now Nunes might be might complain and say, hey, I was actually trying to talk to Giuliani. It doesn't really help you because you're on the, the, the intelligence committee, and you're supposed to be uh, using some intelligence, examining, investigating the whole Trump-Ukraine thing, but you're in cahoots with these guys. And, and you maybe you have been helping them with this whole Ukrainian investigation thing with the Bidens. Yeah. All right, let's do some shout outs. Uh, because we got like a minute and a man who just came home. Uh, Robert Cortino says, in today's political climate, the problem with the president doing a joke is that there are too many people paying attention who will not know that it, it is a joke, especially when it says something violent, you know? Uh, then he talks about Kennedy's acts are not treason, but they are disloyal. Arrow says, I love the minion, yay. I like the minion in the cartoon because I hate the minions. I liked it when they first came out, and you read the blog, Ariel, but I'll tell for other people, I don't like the minions. I love Despicable Me, and I thought they were great in the first movie, but after that, it was just too much. There, you were too much product placement. It's too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Um, it also says it sounds like I was close to saying y'all come back now. You're here at this point in the video at 4:30. Okay, uh, about to say that now. And uh, Amanda says, "Are you going to hate the big pink Christmas tree as much as you clearly hate the baby Jesus?" I don't hate baby Jesus. I don't. What the hell are you talking about with the big pink Christmas? No, no, no. All right, uh, leave a comment, leave a give, uh, say your name. Bye. Pink Christmas.